Hi everyone, this is Mihaela with Mihaela Kiss Handmade Cards. I just wanted to hop on here and show you a card from start to finish. This card I just came up with on the fly, so you'll see my creative process throughout this video, and I hope you enjoy. First of all, here I am stamping out my images. I have chosen thanks, the little mice, and some bubbles with a bubble wand from this stamp set. This first stamp set that I'm using is um, the one that goes with, looks really great with bubbles of joy. This one is called Scripty Bubble Sentiments. So Scripty Bubble Sentiments um, comes with all different ones. The bubble letters that go happy, thanks, hugs, love, smile. I chose thanks because I need a thank you card. And then now I'm using Bubbles of Joy. And Bubbles of Joy is well used as you can see here. <laughs> I probably should give them a little bath soon, my stamps, but I'm stamping out all of the images that I think I might use on a pop-up card. I wanted to use a pop-up card because there is a challenge going on right now for lawn fanatics and it is challenge number 107 for 3D cards. So in today's video, I'm showing you the process of kind of how I'm designing the card and um, just, just the free flow of that. Now I'm grabbing out my Copic markers and I'm using light colors that I think will look good with the bubbles. So when Lawn Fawn came out with these, they were choosing really light colors and I really loved the way that that looked. In Kelly's video, she used so many different colors and I kind of just wanted to simplify it in this video with four colors. So I used G00, RV000, Y000, and BV000. I use these colors for all of the bubbles. So you'll see I'm kind of just transitioning between the colors that look good together. So for example, I would go purple, then the, the kind of greenish blue, then the pink, then the yellow, and it just kind of blended nicely together. I'm also, use, I also used a colorless blender to kind of blend out those colors, and I think the bubbles turned out really nice and pastel-y. Now I'm using W1, W3, and W5 to color my mice here. And those are usually my go-to colors. They're kind of my comfort zone when it comes to coloring these mice from Lawn Fawn. I just think that it's a nice warm gray that goes great with whatever scene that you're doing. And it just reminds me the most of little mice that I see out and about. So I'm just blending Right now you can see I'm using W3 and blending out from the W5 and using W1 for the little details. And then I decided, you know what, I should use an R00 to just make the little details um, pop a little bit more. So my technique is using W5 for the shadows. Just very simple coloring here and then W3 to blend out the color. And then again, the W1 for the details and R00 right over top of it. So enjoy while I color the rest here.
So now that I'm finished coloring, I die cut all of these out with the coordinating dies and they are looking so cute. I'm just rearranging and seeing what looks nice. And I wanted to make a pop-up card, so I used the scallop pop-up dies and I die cut three of the landscape pieces and then I cut out enough squares to be able to cover all of the outside. So it's just time to assemble the pop-up card. And I'm using a quarter inch tape to glue or tape, I guess, together the edges. I realized I was doing it wrong there, so I fixed my mistake. So I am putting those ends together and then again, putting those ends together. And everybody likes to do this different. Some people like to put the inside pieces in first. That probably would be easier, but I just, my brain works this way. <laughs> so I like to fold the card together first and then put on all of these. Or at least make sure that they're gonna work. And then I put on the kind of landscape pieces afterwards and uh, just kind of assemble before I decorate. That's my favorite way of doing this. So I'm just kind of showing you in this video how I do this. The one quarter inch tape is the perfect size tape for this. And you can see in Lawn Fawn's videos when they first introduced this box, that's what they recommend as well. And like you can see there, I'm just bending and making sure that the tape really catches on both sides. So I'm doing that process again throughout all of them. So tape, tape. And the final piece here. So it will also just fit in nicely there and then I can decorate the outside with all of the pieces. So now I'm just gonna look at what my sentiment is gonna be. I want to do a thank you card so I'm gonna go do thanks so very much. Thanks will go up the top so that it really pops and then I'm gonna do so very much. I'm gonna use Versafine ink for this so that I can use clear embossing over top. And really, I should have did this earlier, but this will work too. I'm stamping it down with my Lawn Fawn block that desperately needs to be cleaned as well. And this one um, worked out pretty good. The sole just got smudged a little tiny bit, but that's okay. So I'm using the Lawn Fawn bubble stencil and I'm using Lawn Fawn um, ink in three different colors. I'll list them down below. And for this technique, I am just using the three inks and using the same um, part of the stencil, but it goes in two different ways. I'm starting off with this and then I'm gonna come back in and add bigger bubbles later wherever um, I had some smudges or anything that I wanted to fix. So that ends up being really great. And I like the messy look because it kind of gives it the idea of having bubbles everywhere. Not all bubbles are perfect or they, they're they often um, breaking on the grass or something. So bubbles are fun that way. I'm using my art glitter glue and I am starting to place some of the items. I am also using some acetate, which happens to be lawn fun, but you can use any acetate, um, to pop up some of these critters. So I'm popping up this little guy on the bubble and I thought that was super cute and I thought I'd pop up this little guy who's blowing the bubbles um, and he's gonna blow that thanks out in the back so I thought that was pretty cute and a little guy sitting up watching and some bubbles up at the front it covered up a little mistake I had and then I got to thinking I think I want a little bit more on this card so I used the bubbles border from Lawn Fawn and I just took it, um, the top piece and I die cut out white cardstock with that and I used three strips and I'm just kind of cutting off the edges so that it looks more like bubbles 
and it really just added something to this card. It's more three-dimensional, which is what the challenge is all about, so I thought that it looked super good. I'm just using a little bit more acetate. I wanted to really pop up something, so I thought balloons would be, or balloons, I thought that bubbles would be great to pop up. So there's some in the back that I popped up, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to pop some up in the front too. So I popped up a single bubble and I decided, yep, this is a perfect balance on the left and right. And it looks super cute. Look at all of these guys blowing bubbles and it fits right into your envelope perfectly. I know that the recipient is going to love this. I ended up putting a bubble on the back there to cover up that pink spot. But I know that she's going to love this and it's going to be such a cute little keepsake. Thank you so much for watching and have such a great day everyone.